Well, you saw the news flash here on the Fox News Channel on Saturday night. John McCain, uh, the World War, uh, the, rather the uh, Vietnam War hero and political icon, lost his battle to an aggressive form of brain cancer on Saturday night. The schedule of his uh, various ceremonies this week has been released, and we're going to show you that uh, on Wednesday, the senator will lie in state at Arizona State Capitol. Then on Thursday, there's going to be a funeral at North Phoenix Baptist Church. Joe Biden is expected to speak. On Friday, he will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. That's right. Saturday, there's going to be a procession that will pass by the Vietnam Memorial. Um, and then Sunday, there, I'm sorry, there will also be a, a funeral at the National Cathedral. Then there will be another funeral on Sunday, a private funeral at the Naval Academy Chapel. And then he'll be buried um, there nearby um, next to his best friend, Chuck Larson, um, a buddy of his, so um, that he loved dearly, and he requested right. to be buried next he to him. He did. He wanted to be buried alongside the Severn River there at the academy, uh, not at Arlington, where his father and his grandfather are buried. Right. Uh, it's also uh, very interesting that President Obama's been asked to speak, it looks like, mm -hmm. as well as President Bush. Right. Uh, it seems as though, uh, and it doesn't look like President Trump will attend, but Vice President Mike Pence will. Meanwhile, as you know, Senator John McCain was not shy about being in front on every issue. You had no, uh, no doubt where he stood, whether the economy's collapsing or war in Iraq was imminent or the surge needed to happen or the, there was an uprising in the Ukraine. He was there wanting to take a stand. And uh, Steve, you remember there were so many times he was on our couch. He was. Uh, John McCain was a friend of this program for over 20 years, uh, and he stopped by a lot. We put together a little montage, some of the lighter moments, to remember John McCain. Most angry is has to be Senator John McCain, who just happens to be on our couch. <laughs> Senator McCain. He's awfully happy for anger. <laughs> yeah, on the couch. Tension. Little, little trip down memory lane. <laughs> the president over the last couple of days said that you, as his 08 opponent, would not get the nomination today because in today's Republican Party, you wouldn't be conservative enough. Do you agree with him? Oh, of course, I always agree with the president. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new communication strategy for you. And uh, uh, Mr. Donlin said, what's that? And he said, shut the F up. You said, anytime you come to New York City, we're going to have to provide some barbecue. John? And so oh, my we God. We have a Look big basket that. of oh barbecue. Oh, it smells that's great. That's wonderful. I'm going to have a plate of uh, shakaroni. <laughs> it's soup. You can't have a plate. You can have a bowl. You guys are doing a great job. Thanks so much. I'll pass it on to Steve. It's okay. We're listening. <laughs> Uh, also, he got mad at us a few times, too, uh, over the years, I remember. You know what? He uh, would occasionally call us jerks. Hey, good morning, you jerks. He right. would say that. But that was a term of endearment because, uh, you know, he saved those for his special friends. And because he was here so many times, uh, we do regard him as uh, Cindy McCain a longtime actually, friend of this program. Cindy, you're, you're so right, because Cindy McCain actually said, if he teases you, it yeah. means he likes you. He right. Does. And right. He, one time he yelled at us, I the, remember... Uh, when uh, the Free Syrian Army was out there yelling Allah Akbar after taking out some type of uh, a plane, they said, wait a second, are you sure that these people are friendly with us? He yelled at us. He goes, yes, I was just there. They're friendly with us. Uh, they're people we can trust. I said, okay. All right. Uh, meanwhile, let's talk a little bit 